Good morning. Happy what day is it? It is Wednesday, August. Just kidding. July 20th, I think. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Brianna from A Bubbly Classroom, and I just share a little bit of everyday life in second grade. And today will be day three of setup. Yes, day three. Oh my gosh, so many of you commented on my last video. I, I guess I just feel like it's August when I start coming back here. I think that's what it is because like I go back in August, like first week, kids come back the second week. So anytime I come here, it just feels like August. It's still July. Sorry if I made you panic. Um, I did not come yesterday or Monday and just kind of in like bad headspace. Um, I think just tired and I started getting worried about like safety this year at school and I've never really had huge concerns about that before. Um, and I don't want this to be like a big downer video you know I try to keep this pretty lighthearted but also real and um, safety is really on my mind about this year so I will um, be doing some things that just kind of make me feel safer uh, and I'll share them with you whatever I come up with I have some ideas so let's just go in and do it all right we are in the room I feel like I just have stuff Ev where <laughs> oh my gosh okay um I said I was gonna like sit down and laminate and hot glue stuff but I just feel I'm feeling very like overwhelmed by all the stuff so I think we're gonna take care of some of that first Sorry, my principal came in, so I quit recording. I got the rest of these um, white shelves off. This I have to take out one drawer at a time and then take the frame off because it is very flimsy. And then those, I have to be careful with those too because I have books in there, so they're kind of heavy. Um, we'll see if I can get them down without emptying them. May have to empty them. But I asked him to come down because I wanted to ask him about the magnets for the doors so that the doors can stay locked all the time and he already tried them and because our doors lock from the inside and out it's a deadbolt so we can't use the magnet things but um our number one two and three in a safety situation is run then hide then fight so our number one is to run which is great because our windows are so big and open all the way out it's really easy to get out of that window um, however the window is directly across from this door with this window which makes me nervous so I was just telling him about some of the window coverings I've seen and uh, he wants me to send those to him if we can't get some made I told him I would show him I'll make one for myself and show it to him. It's just the rolled up paper with the paper clip. You pull the paper clip out. And my mom said at my sister's school, they actually have like a magnet at the bottom so that when it drops down, it magnets right underneath the window. So that's just been kind of some safety stuff on my mind. I'm also going to put a hook right next to the door. I have a friend who always keeps her key hanging next to the door. And I think that's a really good idea because I take it off a lot during the day. It's jingly. I'm working with kids. It like falls on my table and makes noise. I usually take it off at some point during the day. I'm just going to keep it hooked right next to the door because then it's always there. If anything ever happened, I didn't have to, I wouldn't have to think about where it is. I know it's right next to the door. I can lock the door from the inside, do my window covering, and hopefully we are out the window. Um, I understand chances are like 0.000% of whatever, 
but I just have been feeling really anxious. So it's better for me to just have a really solid plan of what I would actually do if need be, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to finish cleaning off this counter. Goodness, it's gonna take five million years. Oh, and if you got it right, I think only like two people got it right the other day on the video. I was listening to Olivia Rodrigo. Do love Harry Styles. I do love Taylor Swift, but I was listening to Olivia and I'm actually listening to Olivia again right now. But if I change my music, we'll do another guest situation. off oh my goodness what is that oh you know what maybe from when I moved these shelves maybe I leaned it against my neck I'm not really sure anyways um oh I was sorry my friend stopped by and I was cleaning this with a magic eraser look at the difference just a little magic eraser can do it's the only problem with white stuff is that this is what happened but even like the sides look at that these look brand new. I'll link these down below if you're interested in them. I keep just, oops, some books in there that usually books that don't have any stickers on them stay in here until I put stickers on them. But I have a lot more this year that do not have stickers. All of these need stickers. So I got a lot of, I gotta get Avery labels. I think I have some in my closet. Take them home, print them on color, bring them back. A lot of book stuff to do this year, but I'm gonna clean this other one and then I'll move them over to the carpet. Welcome here, okay? Just, oh God. Ah. Where did that come from? Like literally, where did it come from? Did it come up from the drain? There's no way, there is no way. from the ceiling because I'll just freak me out. Thank goodness our custodian came by and saved me. But I am uh, done with that sink for now. Oh, I'm going to watch that video clip back in slow motion and see if I can figure out what happened. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Um... What should we do then? 
I watched the video back and I don't see anything going on. I think he came up from the drain, you guys. I think he was, I think it's probably dry down there right now because nobody's been here. And I think he was hanging out in there and I think he just popped right up in that drain when I turned that water on. I think he did not like that. That's what I think happened. Um, I am taking magnets off of these pieces of border that either got ruined over the summer. Like some of them just got like really torn up like this one. And then some of them just from like cleaning the board and stuff, they got just really like water damage right here. Like some of them are like stained green and stained blue. And I have a lot left over, so I'm just going to replace these pieces. So I'm trying to, I can actually save. These magnets are coming off really nicely. So if you do put magnets on your border, know that there's a good chance you can probably save and reuse them. left with magnets and I got the bottom of this one done but now I'm trying to remember maybe I didn't put a bottom on this one because I write on this one the most and maybe with the projector I need to look back at pictures okay I looked at my pictures definitely have border on the bottom of this board but I don't know what I did I messed up somewhere <laughs> So I should have done it one piece at a time. <laughs> and I even thought about that as, as, I was, uh, as I was tearing it all down. I was like, you know, well, it'll be fine. Apparently not. Okay. Well, I could probably, this is all I have left. Is one, like a half, and these two small pieces, I don't think it's going to work. But I can probably salvage one of the pieces I tore off and then use this long piece and that should be enough. And then I'll order another pack of this at some point. So let's try to see if I can salvage one. I was wondering why I had magnets left over. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Um, the iffy piece I put down under here because I always have a book on that shelf anyway so you don't really see it. And then I was able to finish up over here. And then this, I kind of just put it here. Oh, just kind of put that there as like an extra magnet to hold that corner in place. Ta-da. All right, that feels like a big thing checked off my list because that stuff was all over my table. Now I can toss the old pieces and next, I think uh, maybe I will put the book bins at the table supplies, like get the table supply shelves finished up because a lot of what is out and about actually goes on these shelves. So maybe that'll make me feel better to get those shelves done. They're all clean and ready to go. So let's do it.
having such a hard time finding this book. This is going to be our first read aloud of the year. It is called Sophie Mouse, A New Friend. It's a series. It's really cute and um, it's about this new boy that joins their class this year and he's a snake and they all have some ideas about snakes based on things they've heard or read about and they uh, learn that sometimes things you hear are not always true. So that's gonna be our first read aloud. I did it as the first one last year also and it was a great one to start the year with just about friendship and kindness and treating everybody with respect um, no matter what you think you know about somebody. And then what I started doing is pulling out books that I know will use the first week of school. I'm going to make myself a little book bin of just like books that I need to get my hands on like that first week, but that I don't want them to read yet because I want them to read it all together. So ones I have so far are Mr. Peabody's Apples. If you don't have this, one of the best books ever. It's really hard to find though, so I'm sorry about that. Um, we do a whole Kevin Hankies, 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 uh, series. We read a bunch of these the first week of school. Teal loves this book so much about belonging and having a place. Obviously, first day jitters. Obviously, school's first day of school. If you don't have this one, grab it. We studied Christian Robinson last year loved learning about him they love his illustrations and i think i actually got um he started writing his own books and illustrating them and i think i actually got one last year so we'll do a whole another christian robinson study again um and then some of these are just like like this is a back to school book but maybe not one that i'll read to them so i need to start making a pile of ones that are gonna go these this whole front will be back to school books and then this shelf back here is seasonal books so that'll be back to school books too which I have a lot of back to school books and I consider back to school books anything that's obviously about like first day of school um, also books about kindness friendship um, anything that's like good community building type of books for the beginning of the year so um, like this one, How Full Is Your Bucket? I will probably actually put that aside because I usually read that to the kids. Uh, Interrupting Chicken is always good. So yeah, that's what uh, I'm going to do with this table is kind of just have books here, piles, stuff like that going on. Oh, then I took the border that was like messed up and I cut off any good places and I will put this in the bookmark bucket. Those make good bookmarks and not waste as much as possible. It's almost two o'clock. I need to go help my friend. She got LED lights under there for her room and she uh, needs help figuring out. She can't get it figured out so I'm gonna go help her with that real quick and then I'll come back and we'll do something before we leave by three. She, we got it working, um, and she had all this extra roll. She used one roll and it went all the way around both her boards. When I bought mine a long time ago, it's literally just enough to go underneath here. So um, I was like, yes, I'll take this. I think this will actually plug into the end of the one I already have plugged in. And so I'll test it out. And then if not, I may just tear off the one I have and replace it with this one maybe and then it can go all the way around both boards. We'll see. This one seems like much stickier, like it'll stay up better than mine. Um, on mine, I, already, I have places where it has to be like re-hot glued and stuff because I just bought it a long time ago and they're making them so much better now.
getting out of here. Um, extra points if you can find Kate peeking out of somewhere because we're getting out of here. A bunch of people from our school are gonna go meet at a Mexican place down the street and get some good food. And then I'm going home. I'll see you next time, bye.